Matthew Griffin is one of the world's foremost futurists. He's worked with three prime ministers, numerous governments and a variety of tech giants. He successfully predicted the first wirelessly charged electric cars, the first global space internet service and the emergence of the world's first self-learning AI. First things first, we've all got one of these. What's in the future for the smartphone? Plenty. How would you like to use this thing to diagnose cancer? Uh, I'd say it was impossible, so... Right. Uh... Artificial intelligence combined with the camera on your smartphone. Yep. You give these AIs a little bit of training. Mm -hmm. I hover the camera over my skin, and with an 86 plus percent accuracy, I can detect skin cancer. Okay. If I now start looking like I'm taking a selfie, it's evaluating the yellowness of my eyes, it's looking at my skin complexion, it's using this uh, system to diagnose pancreatic cancer. Okay. Say what? All of this from technology that is already available. Already available. Already here. Next up, I want to find out what's evolving in the world of home entertainment. With rollable TVs, flexible displays and ultra-thin screens already on the horizon, where can we go from here? We're going to have 8K going to 11K. But the interesting thing about 11K is that it's got a natural 3D effect. Seriously? Yeah. Simply because the definition is so high where yeah. your, your brain processes in 3D. Ooh, 11K, it's going to be glorious! With the thinness of all of these displays becomes the challenge of sound. Where are you going to put the speakers? Yeah, good point. So LG have got something called Crystal OLED, where the speakers are actually built into the display itself. But we're not talking about speakers that have been super glued to the back of a display. Right. You know, we're talking natively integrated with the OLED technology. Mm. That's it. So we've got that. Mm. And what's in the pipeline for cars? So the world's first batteryless car could very well be from Lamborghini. No. Yes. No. Yes. Really? Yep. This is their concept car. This is the Terzo Millennio. The way that we get rid of the batteries is we turn the car's shell and the car's body itself into the battery. What? Yes. And we, yeah. I like it already. And they want this to be a production model in 2030. And what? that's it. Yeah. Matthew's also predicting huge strides forward for smart home technology. A lot of people basically have got these kinds of things now, so smart watches. Yep. Yeah, as I'm starting to leave the office, I'm slightly stressed, I've been on a shoot all day, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these watches in the future will be able to sense cortisol levels. These things can communicate back to your connected home. Okay. Your connected home sets itself up basically to try to de-stress you and relax you. Okay. Yep. So pink mood lighting. If you that can, works for you. That's yep. it. You can have your 3D food printer printing off a nice spag bowl in the kitchen nice. if you want to. You I can like have that. your Spotify or whatever your flavour of choice is, playing your favourite tunes yep. and all that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. My time chatting with Matthew is nearly up, but before I go, I'm going to ask the question that we all want the answer to. What about robots? Will they take over the world? Uh, University of Oxford recently 3D printed artificial human skin. So we need a way to flex it. We need a way to make this skin more supple. They decided that the best way to do that was to put artificial human skin yes. onto a robot and a skeleton. And there you go, the Terminator. So robots will take over the world. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs>